Hello once again and welcome to Cooking Around's channel. For you today, another soup by request. What is it? Moroccan lentil soup. Now, I've been making this for a long time and I like to make it in the slow cooker basically because it kind of marinates itself. And with all the spices, I like to make it the day before because the next day tastes even better. Now, if you want to lose the weight, you know, you can eat this thing for about two days with a light breakfast and the pouts will just come right off. So let me show you how to put this together. Now let's start. Let's grab your slow cooking pot and let's put in about two tablespoons of olive oil. If you don't want to use the slow cooker, just use a regular pot. Now to start off, let's add one can of diced tomatoes. Don't want to use the can? No problem. Get about two medium tomatoes, peel the skins, chop them up, and put it inside. Now let's add about a cup and three quarters of lentils. What kind? Any kind that you would like. Now at this point, I like to give it a good stir, and I like to incorporate the tomato to tomato juices with the lentils. Now I like that deep, deep thick rich taste. In order to do that I'm adding two tablespoons of tomato paste. If you want a little bit on the thicker side add three tablespoons. Add about four cloves of garlic. You can mince it, chop it, or slice it. Add one medium white onion and how you chop it that depends on what you prefer here. Now this is an option. I'm adding one small red hot pepper and if you get some of the seeds in, don't worry about it. Now try to keep up with me. We're going to add one teaspoon ground cumin, one teaspoon ground coriander, one teaspoon ground turmeric. Now if you can, you, if you want, you can add a dash of cinnamon, ground cinnamon. And now let's add pepper black pepper, white pepper, add as much as you want to keep you happy here. Now let's mix it and blend it very well. I believe that the mixing is very important at this stage because I don't want to mix it later on during the cooking process. Now to make your life easier I'm adding two and a half cups of chopped vegetables. I just go to the freezer section of the supermarket, grab a bag, any kind I want, and voila! Now add about two cups of water and the water will be just a little bit above the veggie line. Now let's add two veggie stalks and let's keep it low sodium. You can add chicken stock if you want. And now let it go on low for six hours. If you want a shorter time, three hours on high. I prefer the low because it's a better process and I shall be back. Okay, it's been about six hours and I did not disturb it at all. Let's take a look. See how this looks? It's absolutely perfect. I'm just gonna now move it around and show you the consistency of it. It's like, is this a soup? Is it a stew? Any way you wanna call it, it is a great diet soup. Are we done yet? No, let's add some zinc to it. I'm adding about what? Uh, one third uh, juice of a lemon. And to make it more nutritious, I'm adding about half a cup of chopped parsley. Uh, any type of parsley you want. And now I'm adding some extra water because it's just a little too thick for me. So I'm adding about three quarters of a cup of water. But that depends on how you want the soup. Now let's bring it in to tease you. Just look at this. A meal in a bowl. A soup that will help you lose weight. Now if you want, you could add some spinach leaves to this point if you want and make it you know a little bit more nutritious for me i think there's enough flavor in here so once again we reached the end of our video i hope you enjoy the soup please try it once again it's goodbye from tony and cooking around